Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Okay, evening everyone. If it is evening and you're watching this, it is here. It's uh, maybe around sort of quarter to seven, 20 to seven in the evening. It's uh, Monday, August the 19th, 2019. Just out of my rabbit permission tonight. Pulled up here and there was about seven or eight rabbits out on this grass. So I've set myself up here uh, with the impact and the Excite 4K on the bipod. And it's 30 yards to that metal fence and little brick building, which is perfect range. So if any of them come out on this grass, there's a warren just on, in that metal fences. There's a warren just in front of that and, and underneath it. And there's rabbits come round from the left as well. Uh, the left of that little brick building there and all along this grass. There is a road about 60 yards that way but it runs parallel to me shooting so it's not an issue so I'll be shooting in the obviously I say parallel with the road so the pellet's got no chance of straying over that way and it's much further than the 50 feet you're supposed to allow so we should be okay. And I can't be seen from the road so I've put myself next to this tree so I'm shielded from view. Um, obviously I've got permission to be here but you know what it's like, discretion is the key. Uh, so should be okay. Well, hopefully we're in for a good evening session. We'll see how we go. I've bought my uh, infrared so now it's August. We've only got two weeks left of August. It's starting to get dark at sort of 8.30. So if I hang on till around 10 o'clock, it'll be well dark by then. So I've got the range finder um, with the UV light, uh, sorry, infrared light, UV light, the infrared light um, to strap onto the gun. So we'll switch to night mode if we need to. Uh, see a little rabbit out over there, actually. You probably can't see it from here, maybe. Just by that tree, just there. a little too far away so we'll stick to these when they come out and I'll keep quiet just to keep quick note on the gun Got a brilliant um, custom plenum cover from Gareth at POI 3D uh, on eBay he kindly printed me out a, a, a custom cover with the logo on which is great brilliant thing I'll put a link in the description below to his uh, eBay shop if you want to order one for yourself. It does them in black and silver, uh, custom logo or plain, Mark 2s, Mark 1s, FACs for the larger plenum on the Mark 2. Uh, the Mark 2 Sub 12 has got the same size plenum as the Mark 1, uh, 20mm. So um, if you're ordering one, if you state it's a Mark 2, but a Mark 2 Sub 12 if you've got the Sub 12. And I think that's great. I'm really pleased with it. The logo's come out a treat on there. I think you'll agree. Okay, so we'll keep quiet now, get better down, have a quick drink, and see how I get on. Okay, speak to you soon. Okay, first one about 45 minutes after I set up and finished yakking. About 35 yards, because it's about 30 degrees to my right. So a little bit of hold over, and a straightforward shot. Uh, the gun's at 31 yards because that's the distance to the metal fence which is directly in front of me. So sort of 30 degrees left and right is my shooting window and at those extremities it's about 35 yards so just a little bit of hold over. So this is the same but on the left. A little bit of hold over. Just a tad for the wind. There's a little breeze coming from the left. So just give it a little bit. Maybe a couple of pellet widths that's about it really. That's another nice straightforward shot. And uh, that was only a minute after the first one. So they're just starting to pop out now. Around 20 minutes later, just under 20 minutes later, I see another one over to the right where the first one was. 
I've got to, uh, got to wait for it to get me out from behind the grass. I can't take a shot there, I just because I can't see what, which way it's facing or anything. It's just reckless to do that. There we are. Just thinking about pulling the trigger and he's down. And then you think about pulling the trigger again. And then he ducks again. So nice head-on shot there, which is what I like to take as well because that's a direct path straight through to the brain so that's another one out and then just three or four minutes later there's another one hopping around in the trees to the right again which is about the same distance so I've got my view slightly obscured by the overhanging branch so I've just shuffle over to the left a little bit I don't want the pellet to hit the branch and then get deflected so like once again another Another mill dot a hold over takes it at 35 yards. And then once again, you see the one on the left. This is again a little bit closer, maybe 31, 32 yards, which is about on the zero. So, nice straightforward shot on the crosshairs, which is once again over to the left hand side. So, that was it then, 20 past 8 just starting to get a little bit dark now and I just lay there again for like an hour and a half and then decide that there's nothing coming out so I move around to the right hand side switch the infrared on this isn't in focus because I was just laying at an awkward angle and I just couldn't quite reach around to set the focus on the gun and he's only about 20 yards away uh, this is round the right hand side where the trees are um, still only about still about 45 yards from the road shooting parallel with it so it's not a problem so I squeak him up and then a bit of hold under probably I'll say it's probably 20 up to 25 yards no more than that that's at 20 to 10 just check see if I can find his mate but he looks like his mate scarpered the just young ones there at that time when I walk through there later on there's quite a few holes been dug throughout the tree roots so it's going to definitely be a place to go back again with more another one pops out in front of me it's once again about 20 yards away so it's a milled bit of hold under because obviously the pellet's um, on its way to the zero at that range so you think I'd have learnt my lesson there with the hold under, but you know what it's like at night, you lose all sense of depth. And I'm not I wasn't using the rangefinder because I was zeroed at 31 yards, so I just did the hold over and hold under myself. And obviously now you know it's time to pack up when you get one come in towards you. Perfectly shot, no wind, base square on, absolutely no problem, an absolute sitting duck. And what do you do? You put the crosshairs on and you put the pellet right between his ears because he was actually about 20 yards away. Off his scarpers and it's time for me to scarper. So I hope you enjoyed that. You don't have to shoot rabbits at 70 yards. 30, 35 yards at the most is all you need to get a bag full. So that was 7 for the night, which isn't bad. Okay, if you enjoyed that, like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.